All right, it's time to cover all the rest of the numbers. We did the numbers 1 through 20 in class, and we're going to get all the other numbers now. So we ended with 20, which was vein thick, spelled like a vein in your arm, vein thick. But then once we get to 21, we're going to have to squish it together. So it was vein e uno, 20 and 1. It becomes vein uno. It gets squished together into a single word, 21. 22, same thing. We start with 20, we add dos, which is the number two. This one has a little accent on it. We'll talk about why in just a second. 23, also has an accent. 24, does not have an accent. And remember, there's no Q on any of our letters except for 15 or any of our numbers. 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Okay, so you might notice there's, there's two ways that we can remember which one of these need accents. The correct reason that they need accents is because they have numbers that are a single syllable. Dos, tres, seis. Single syllable numbers at the end. The other ones have two syllables, like cuatro, cinco, siete, so they don't need an accent. But the easiest way to remember is that if it ends with an S, if it's in the 20s and it ends with an S, you need to put an accent on that vowel there. This one's on the E, and the I has a dot. All right, so that's the 20s. It gets easier after that, though. Once we get to the 30s, now we don't need to learn every single number. Now we can just learn the tens position and add numbers to it at the end. All right, so 30 is 30. 40 is 40, 50 is 50, no Q in there because the only number that has a Q is 15, 60, 70, 80, 90, And 100. When it's 100 all by itself, the number is 100. If it's 100 and something else, if there's more numbers after it, then it becomes 100. So if it's 101 or 120. But if it's just 100, then it's the number 100. So what I do if I want to make these into like 35 or 47 or 52, I just take these and I use the word and. Okay, this word right here, it means and. So I can say and any other number that I want. So if it's um, and, then the number. You have these, then and, then the number. So let's say I wanted to write 36. I would start with the word 30, which is 30. Then I would use the word and, and then the number 6, which is 6. And there will be no accents required. Let's do one more. Let's say we want to have 59. So I would say 50, which is 50. And e nueve. And it's three separate words. No accents required. Kind of hard to see. So I'll do one more. Let's do 82. 80 e dos. 80 and 2. So that's how we do all the other numbers past the 20s. So the 20s we kind of got to memorize since they're squished together like that. They've got some accents, but once you get beyond that, it's just 40 and the number. Now what I want you to do for practice is I want you to pick 10 numbers that you can practice that have a tens place and a ones place 
You may not use my three examples here, 36, 59, and 82 do not count. We need 10 different examples. So 87, 93, you're going to write them as a number like this numerically, and then spell it out in Spanish for me and turn that in tomorrow with your notes.